What's up, everybody? Luna Kage here. Welcome back. Finally, after a long hiatus, to uh, my playthrough here of Final Fantasy VII. Um, last time, we uh, we were on our way to uh, save Eris. So now, I guess that's what we're doing. Let's see, did I already buy the equipment? Yes. Okay. So we're all ready to go to uh, to Shinra here. Take on the um, the bad guys. Kids aren't fast enough. So basically we're going to climb this wire here and uh, use the batteries that we got from uh, from the shop owner to uh, reach the the upper plate where Shinra headquarters is located. I wonder how all those graffiti artists got up there. We have, uh, we're almost to the final boss of the Midgar section of, um, of the game here, which means we're almost to the world map, which is when the game really gets going. Put in the battery, somehow the plane works for like a split second and then shuts down in just the right spot to make us a little bridge. What are the odds? You know what? This way? Yes, okay. Yeah, this is all extremely dangerous. I mean, not in the context of the game. I mean, none of this stuff is going to hurt me in the game, but it just looks extremely dangerous. There's actually something else we could get if we climb up, I think. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Ether. Never get enough of those early game. Alright, so basically we're going to time our jump correctly. To land on that, jump off, okay. It's all very ambiguous looking stuff. And that was easy. We are now officially to the uh, main headquarters here. Now when I do this part, you got two options. You can either barge in or you can climb the stairs. And I normally climb the stairs. I know there's a couple items you can get there, but I, I I don't remember if there's another reason I climb the stairs. But I usually always climb the stairs. Um, you know, I have a feeling that most people who LP this game would barge in because it's more entertaining. So it would be different. I'm going to do what I always do, and I'm going to climb the fucking stairs. 
sneak in quietly. Plus, you get a little bit of brownie points with Tifa there. It's like, yeah, you listen to me. Awesome. Let's have sex. There's no random battles when you climb the stairs either. Also, a uh, funny thing is, uh, you can select, you know, choose that you're going to go in quietly to get your brownie points with Tifa, and then bust in anyway. I think one of the things I like about it is the banter between uh, between the characters as you're running up. <laughs> At one point, uh, I think Tifa calls Barrett retarded. Which was interesting because I'd never seen that word used in a video game before this. It's, it's, it's ahead of its time. Let me see here. Currently at six minutes into the video. Let's see how long this part takes. Because it's just a bunch of running and reading. You get a few items every once in a while. I know you get an elixir. Elixirs are good. I still want to say there's another reason I used to do this. Because, like, items were never super important to me. Like, elixirs are nice and everything, but, like, they're not really super necessary. I mean, by the time I finish the game, I have a shit ton of elixirs left because I never use the motherfuckers. Maybe it just makes it easier somehow? I, I don't know. <laughs> okay. We're a minute into this so far. And the stairways. It's the stairway to heaven. Good old Led Zeppelin. <laughs> I beat Barrett. Barrett's a cunt. We there yet? Not yet. There yet? Said not yet. But mom, ha! Here's our first item, elixir, and I still beat you both. You both don't have the conditioning. I'm from Soldier, damn it! I've had it. I'm going back. Just take just as long going down as you did coming up. Dots. Got hung up on a staircase there. <laughs> I think this means it's a halfway point. Come on, 50, pull it together. I don't, I don't get that exactly. Um, she, she said she was going to go up, even if we were wussies. Then she has second thoughts and tells us to go first. And then Barrett's like, I didn't mean that. Like, I, I don't, I don't get it. Is that like a, is that like a miss, a lost in translation or something? I'm not entirely sure. Almost been three minutes of this, huh? <laughs> it's 
stop acting like a retard and climb. It's over. I do love, like, I, I, I never really thought about it, but, like, they give you an option to take the stairs. Anyways. Now we're thrust into battle with the only type of enemy we're going to be seeing in for a little bit here. They don't have any weaknesses as far as I know. Um, they're not really super threatening, but you hit them enough times, their armor will come off and then they'll be a little bit more evasive. Having a hard time figuring out whether or not they're like robots. They look like they could be. They could just as easily be uh, soldiers, too. Is this set to wait? Have I been doing wait this whole time? I don't like that. I'll have to change that. Slash your ass. Paralyzed. All right. Good. Dead. Okay. Oh fuck. We get a key card here. Key card sixty. All right. Go ahead and change these options here. Active. I've been using recommended the whole time. I always found recommended annoying. Maybe I just forgot. Okay. Is that the one we were just on? Why would you let why would you let us shoot okay. <laughs> Never mind. Sixty. Talk to each one of these. Yeah, it's funny, because if you're just sitting there waiting, like I was the first couple of times I played. I'm just like, man, this is a long-ass elevator. But you actually got to talk to both of your party members. I'm glad it's so easy just to get in here. these guards without getting caught. If you get caught, you'll just be put into a, a battle. And eventually, if you get caught enough times and beat them, then that side will just be gone. It's not really that hard, though. Got a 
to try a little bit harder on the running guys. Even then, it's surprisingly lenient. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I was just a little bit too late. Overkill. <laughs> oh, we gotta start all over. Huh. That was the first time in a while I failed that. A little ag aggravated about that, honestly. Oops. Crisscross. Crisscross. All right. Okay, we gonna rock. key card here. Okay. Got our next key card. 62. All right. Now uh, here we can get uh, the elemental materia by solving a puzzle, and that's exactly what I want to do. Okay. <laughs> now, if you just wanted to progress, you could just keep guessing until you get it, but uh, I kind of want to get that elemental materia. So what I'm going to do is basically in all four of these libraries, there's a book that's out of place. Uh, you take the first letter of that book, or not the first letter, uh, it's, hold on, let's see, Peace Preservation Weapon Develop Research, okay. So basically you go in here and you find whatever's not, uh, see, I'm pretty sure that space program, Materia, Military, Shinra peacekeeping. Breakdown of soldiers by class. New land weapon. Anti-Shinra activities. So, 
the Midgar space program is not like the others. So 17, the 17th letter. I, I forget. I don't think it counts spaces. Let's see. M O D E R N H I S T O R Y O F M I. So I, if I'm not mistaken, oop, fuck. Then we got uh, space development here. So whatever has nothing to do with space development. We got our space program. City map, that's probably it. Space mission. Rocket space. Space devs. So that's city map. Four. M-I-D-G. So G. So I-G so far. Sounds like it's probably going to be King. Oh, once again, forgot to fucking read the plaque. Reading the plaque is important. Urban Development Research Library, okay. So whatever it does, nothing to do with urban development. City planning, urban planning, construction, construction, City map. Animals. Huh. Well, what's this fourth one here? Scientific research. Okay, so I have a vague idea. Uh, city planning. Urban planning. Construction. Reactor construction. City map. This is probably it. So six... Uh, D A T A O N. So N. So we got I G N. It's it's going to be king at this point. Uh, this one is scientific research. Doctor Gast, biologist. Mako Mako energy. Mako weaponry. The ancients and history. Final evolution leader. Ancients in history? Oh, this one here. Yeah, it's King for R A N K. Yep. So we got I G N and K. So K I N G. It is King. Yay! Sweet. Got the elemental materia. This is going to be important. Might as well start using it right away, though. Um, let's see. Who do I want to put it on? Might as well put it on him here. Now, do I want to attack lightning or defend something? I'll defend it. continue <sighs> this one here is interesting uh, I've never really been able to do this a hundred percent God I'm trying to remember how I used to do this Oh, yeah, that's right. I get to choose them as I go. Of course. Okay. Um, God, how did I do this? Is it back here? I don't think so. I got three chances, I think. A coupon... Uh, 
slow. Uh, I think there's three A, B, and C. Well, I'll be dipped in shit. I did it. <laughs> and I'm terrible at that. Unless there's four. Cool. So I got all of them. Good shit. Now we got another all materia. And we have, I believe, our first accessory. Prevents poison. Four slots is armor. It's not a good armor. I don't... I don't yeah, I don't like it at all. <laughs> Probably just end up selling it. But we got that all materia. There's nothing really I need it for, but I need it to level up, so I'll put down her. Now I believe Unless I fucked up or something. Do I get a key card from there or do I just go up? I forget. No, I got key card 65. Yeah, so I'm good. I don't remember if there's anything to get in here. I don't think so. But there's a save point. I'm going to need that. I can work out. I want to work out. Yeah, I can get stuff in here, can't I? Locked. Locked. Phoenix down, good. Locked. 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 Ether, alright. Megaphone. This is a clue. I mean, I guess you could say spoilers right now, but later on in the game... You, uh, you get a party member called Kate Sith. His weapons are megaphones. And this megaphone here is going to be here later in the game when you come back. And it's a really strong weapon for him. I don't know. I don't think it's his best weapon, but I do know it's a really strong weapon, at least. Alright, on that note, I'm going to end this uh, video here, you guys. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Sorry again for the delay for the, you know, three of you that watch my videos. And uh, I'll see you guys next video.